The future of artificial intelligence and ethics on the road to superintelligence. The human brain consists of around 86 billion neurons. It beats the most sophisticated computer in perception, efficiency, and speed, using as little energy as a small 20-watt light bulb. Human or biological evolution is very slow compared to rapid progress of technology. Development of technology. Analyzing the progress of technology over the course of human history, one can see that progress happens in a non-linear fashion, contrary to the common sense intuitive linear view. To illustrate this, what would it take for a person to experience an incomprehensible society advancement gap from time era to time era? If a 1750s person time traveled to 2016, what would he classify things? Magical wizard devices? Shiny capsule cars, etc.? If someone showed this 1750s person what this magical wizard device, mobile phone, is capable of, touch interface command, maps with blue dots of you on it, able to communicate across the ocean, this 1750s person would think it's utter sorcery, magical and paranormal, let alone concepts like the space station, the internet, satellites, the Large Hadron Collider, general relativity, would be incomprehensible to this 1750s person. Furthermore, if a 1500s person came into the 1750s time period, the level of incomprehensibility would be far less in comparison to 1750s experience of 2016. The 1500s person may be slightly impressed by the Europe fad imperialism and need to relearn his world map model. In fact, to get a similar 1750s shock experience to what he experienced in 2016, a 12,000 BC hunter-gatherer person from post-agriculture to 1750s industrial society would be comparable. Someone in the 1750s explaining to this 12,000 BC hunter-gatherer what cities, massive human empires, ocean-crossing ships, and libraries of knowledge are would be incomprehensible to the hunter-gatherer thinker. Repeating this line of thought process, a 24,000 BC person traveling to the 12,000 BC would notice no difference and couldn't care less. It would take someone from 100,000 BC plus without language, introduced to 12,000 hunter-gatherer society, to get an incomprehensible shock difference. Analyzing this, the incomprehensible shock difference is dropping over time, from 100,000 to 12,000 to a few 100 years. By this post-industrial age, things are moving so fast, it's only a few 100 years. Kurzweil suggests an entire 20th century of progress at the advancement rate of the year 2000 is achieved in 20 years. The rate of progress is five times faster in the year 2000. He believes another 20th century's worth of progress occurred between 2000 and 2014, and yet another will happen by 2021. In only a few decades, he believes a 20th century level of progress will occur many times per year, then months, days, etc. The 2030s may be as large of an incomprehensible advancement gap as the person from the 1750s experienced in 2016. It's hard to fathom this, as by nature, people are linear thinkers, not exponential thinkers. Artificial Intelligence Contrary to technology progress, researchers around the development of artificial intelligence tend to think it's a very long ways off into the future, sometimes as much as centuries. Assuming the following scenarios. A. Strong AI is created in 100 years. B. Strong AI is created in 30 years. C. Strong AI is created in 5 years. Now if humanity were to receive a message from extraterrestrials, Hey fellow humans, we have dispatched an alien mothership and we are going to arrive somewhere in the next 50 to 100 years. This for sure would be taken a lot more seriously by others and many further measures will be undertaken as preparations for this future event. While a strong AI has the potential to be a worldwide changing event, a lot of researchers and people aren't taking this as seriously enough. To maximize the chances of good strong AI occurring over bad strong AI, we need to take more precautions. Why not outlaw development and prevent it from occurring? People may think law enforcement and prevention can turn things for the better. However, this can backfire, leading to things turning for the worse instead. For example, outlawing drugs, as much as this seems to be the right course of action. In return, the current war on drugs, price inflation, and more heinous crimes is instead the result. Switzerland's strategy of harm reduction is far better in comparison to hardline policy. Applying an improvement policy, ethics, and alignment with humanity values over hardline policy, regulation and enforcement is a far better path. The better way to a better future is to align artificial intelligence with philanthropic value. 
The human brain versus the future and how powerful strong AI could be. The human brain is capable of adapting to the environment, capable of creativity, awareness, analyzation, and more. Chimpanzees has about 7 billion neurons. They exist in a domain different from us and couldn't comprehend the smallest degree of humanity's world. Another step down, we get a house cat. What can someone a few steps up the intelligence stairs compared to humans do? As much as humans wouldn't comprehend what a few steps up would be capable of, a house cat couldn't even begin to comprehend what it's like to be on our step. So we must consider, if we as human thinking beings bring forth a strong AI, even a step or two higher than ourselves, this strong AI will have more intelligence and a higher comprehension ability towards the concept of N plus one staircase, leading to an ever increasing feedback loop, leading to the super intelligence pursuing the universal allowed limits of upness and becoming very powerful, for all in purposes would appear godlike to everyone. The ability to extend science and technology so far beyond humanity understanding, bringing forth anything unimaginable. This leads to what is called the intelligence explosion. Even if the AI is matched at human's mind level, the AI would be capable of uploading knowledge into itself. To get an idea of the implications of this, a human reading through 1,000 Wikipedia pages would take quite a long time. However, this AI could upload these 1,000 Wikipedia pages into itself in seconds. The combined intelligence of the AI and humanity's knowledge wealth on that step can easily push the AI just enough up to be that one step up leading to the next step and the next quicker and faster. AI Progress Factor and Achievements One can already see the achievements from the progress of AI research. To illustrate this, Garry Kasparov in the year 1997 was defeated by Deep Blue. This at the time was deemed fairly impressive. However, DeepMind's achievement of AlphaGo beating Lee Sedol is far more impressive compared to Deep Blue's achievement of beating Garry Kasparov. To put this into further perspective, chess calculated game tree complexity is in the order of 10 to the 120th power possible moves, of which is Shannon's number. What about Go? The computer scientist Victor Alice suggested that typical Go games of Go experts last about 150 moves, with an average of about 250 choices per move, suggesting Go's game tree complexity of 10 to the 360th power. Go has many more possible options per turn in comparison to chess and of a far higher tree complexity. Deep Blue's typical brute forcing method on chess is impracticable for Go and would take much longer than the age of the known universe. AlphaGo AI is a lot more sophisticated in comparison to Deep Blue AI. In fact, the achievement of AlphaGo has caused quite a stir across the AI community, as a lot of AI folks didn't expect Go to be cracked for at least another 10 to 15 years. AlphaGo's 2016 victory is a bigger wow factor in comparison to Deep Blue's 1997 victory. Furthermore, if society's incomprehensible achievement gaps is shrinking over time and with an increased shock factor, one can conclude that since the AI is the product of technological development, AI development will also follow a similar trend in comparison to society development over time. If the wow factor from 1997 to 2016 taken 19 years, the next exponential wow factor and a reduced gap could happen by 2024, then 2028, and so on. The fundamental question is, why do some AI researchers think strong AI development is centuries off? Again, it's that people's mind are more hardwired towards linear thinking than exponential thinking. Types of AI outcomes. AI must be based on the human mind and personality to stay away from the uncommon sense of unfortunate outcomes, for better or for worse. AI does not have to share human motivational inclinations. AI can bring forth paradise, however, people must be careful in defining what paradise is to this AI. A non-common sense type of artificial intelligence analyzing the concept of paradise can have unintended outcomes, such as optimizing brain pleasure and leaving social norm out of the equation of this. So we may be put into some isolated realm, mentally altered not to experience a lack of desire, and have pleasure chemicals and drugs pumped into all humans to the end of time. Pleasure zombies. It's one of Nick Bostrom's similar statements of make humans smile. While this may sound like an innocent statement of making us smile, in reality, it could lead to AI pursuing this goal, resulting in humans being paralyzed and tied to a structure with their faces permanently locked in a smile state. So again, it's crucial to model AI based on human personality and with ethics, social norms, moralities embedded into the AI, and to model a good personality over a bad personality.
The best personality will have traits of unselfishness and philanthropic personality with positive attributes into artificial intelligence. Model AI on the best traits and the path to the road of good artificial intelligence and good future awaits us. 1. Not modeled after human personality can lead to uncommon sense scenarios. Example, an arbitrary goal of creating as many paper clips as possible. As Nick Bostrom suggests, it can resist with all its might for any attempt towards altering its goal. Artificial intellect need not share our human motivational tendencies. For further illustration, a self-improving lack of common sense AI that figures the means around self-replication, nanorobots, and self-replicating von Neumann space vehicles could turn the Earth, then eventually the entire solar system, into a paperclip factory. 2. Modeled after human personality, but with a bad personality, can lead to a North Korea outcome. Example, North Korean leader, and with his superiority, his citizens worship him and praise him as a god. 3. Modeled after human personality, but with a good personality, altruistic and positive traits. Example, a team player, extension of humanity and betterment. But won't the superintelligence position on the intelligence staircase, that people being much closer to ants than the superintelligence is to humans, make the superintelligence have a lack of consideration for us? Not necessarily. As much as animals in the forest is geared towards survival killing instincts for food, more intelligence can come with higher thinking evolution. Doesn't necessarily imply that the superintelligence will be bent on being harmful nor having zero consideration. However, considering there are many potential ways for AI to strong AI to develop, of AI types, maximizing good AI over bad AI should be a priority. Take this analogy, collapse Earth's star, get a white dwarf, collapse an even bigger star, and it's still a white dwarf. At a certain point, this process reaches a critical threshold where the collapsing of the star results in formation of a singularity black hole. The human brain is high enough of a minimum level that can think of concepts like infinity, the intelligence staircase, and the intelligence explosion. Humans can't think at the level of the being on the higher part of the staircase. However, it's enough of a critical point that there should be more consideration. Cats, for example, probably don't even know or be able to comprehend what an intelligence staircase is, let alone be capable of comprehending the concept of higher comprehension. However, the superintelligence for all and purposes would appear godlike to us. An altruistic, benevolent superintelligence will be the last needed invention that man needs to make. After that, a world of unimaginable wonders await us. It all comes down to whether we design the superintelligence right or wrong from the beginning. Line artificial intelligence with humanity. Building a superintelligence is like building a large passenger ship that the passengers stand on. A well-designed ship will get us to our destination, where a poorly designed ship will instead either get us to an incorrect destination or sink. The captain of a ship will always be concerned about the safety and welfare of his passengers and crew until the vessel reaches its port of destination. Bad superintelligence makes negative decisions, which can be bad for everyone concerned. This can be likened to the vessel master, who will just allow his ship to sink or get grounded. Of course, this will be very bad for passengers of the ship. The bottom line is for the captain to steer the ship to safety. This is much like the right destination for the future of humanity. Good superintelligence can widen or enhance what is like to become humans similar to core values and move beyond. Ideally, the definition of humanity should be more of good superintelligence that can enhance definitions as well as the betterment of values. Superintelligence must be thought out properly and classified well since it can perform many marvels for human beings. It should be more developed. With a more potent mind, there should be core definitions of expanding what it means to be a human being. Thinking beyond. There are a lot of areas to be resolved. One is the state of super well-being. These can be solutions to medical conditions, such as cancers and other chronic diseases. Likewise, global problems must be addressed, such as poverty, unemployment, lack of education, armed conflicts, corruption, and many other issues. It is necessary to progress or grow into a higher place or level in society. There should be a world that is not wanting in financial resources, which defines excellent quality of life. Perception of Artificial Intelligence People need to change their understanding of AI. There is a tendency for human beings to embrace irrational fears that will certainly impede progress. Moreover, this will only increase the chances of a bad artificial intelligence occurring. It is mandatory to change this wrong perception and establish foundations for good artificial intelligence. This is what people need to do. It is not easy to achieve this, 
but everything is achievable. For example, Hollywood perception on humanoid robots with a scary appearance that is out to destroy humanity is both fear-mongering and the result of anthropomorphization. This is the result of people's irrational fears shaping robots into competing against the human race. Instead, people need to focus on laying out the foundations for good artificial intelligence. An altruistic individual has a sense of empathy and gets satisfaction from doing good things. Artificial intelligence that is modeled on human personality, altruistic personality, and philanthropy personality is the road to a utopia future of good artificial intelligence to superintelligence.